Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here, and yes, there are some big changes coming to the City Premier card. These changes are gonna be coming in mid-summer 2020, so this year. Uh, if you don't know, the City Premier card is City's sort of mid-level card, so it competes with the uh, Sapphire Preferred from Chase, and then also with the American Express Gold card. And you're gonna be seeing some similarities with the Gold card in these changes that are coming in, okay? So uh, let's start talking about it. There's gonna be benefits added, and there's gonna be a few benefits taken away. First of all, um, let's go through what is being added to the card. So there are two bonus categories being added, restaurants, the point earning will increase from 2x up to 3x, and grocery stores, that point earning there will increase from 1x up to 3x. So I think you now definitely see some similarities with the Amex Gold card, which earns 4x points at grocery stores and restaurants, okay? Uh, grocery stores is US grocery stores only, um, but it's you know $250 per year, whereas this, the annual fee is a lot lower. We'll get into talking about annual fees a little bit later, but you can basically see that they are kind of competing with the gold card because they've got now the same bonus categories as the gold card, restaurants and grocery stores. Now there is another new benefit that is being added to the card, and that is a new hotel benefit, which is a $100 credit off a single hotel stay of $500 or more booked through thankyou.com. So basically, yeah, you'd get $100 off a single booking. Um, it could be one night in a more exclusive hotel costing more than $500 or several nights in a lower end hotel, maybe three nights at, you know, whatever. Um, and you're going to get $100 off that. Now, this kind of mirrors a little bit the City Prestige's hotel credit, which is a, I think it's fourth night free uh, when you book through thankyou.com on cash bookings. Okay, you get to use it twice a year. So this is sort of a scaled down version of that because obviously it's a cheaper mid-tier card. I call it a tier three card in my five tier credit card tier system. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool benefit actually, um, I would say. Now all of these benefits, these new bonus categories and the new $100 credit for hotels, they're coming in on August 23rd, 2020. Whether you are a new card member or an existing card member, um, those benefits will be coming in on that date. Now there are some differences between things that are being removed for existing card members and for new card members. Uh, and we'll go through that. So let's talk about what benefits are being removed now uh, and for who and at what time. So the bonus category for what's called other travel, which is you know, cruises, tolls and parking, et cetera, things like that, that's going down from 3X to 1X. Now you're still gonna get 3X points on travel like airfare and taxis and trains, uh, that kind of thing, regular travel, but those things like cruises, um, that's going down to 1X. Entertainment is going from 2X down to 1X as well. Now for new card members who applied on or after April 10th, 2020, so basically tomorrow, these benefits will be cut on August 23rd. And for existing card members, so people who applied before April 10th, 2020, they'll be cut on April 10th, 2021. So you get a whole year to use them. Um, so <laughs> with these benefits, I mean, 3X on cruises being cut, who's really taking cruises at the moment anyway? Um, just a joke. I mean, I'm sure cruises are going to come back probably within a year or so. People will be doing cruises again. Um, but yeah, you've got a little bit of a difference between people who apply uh, before April 10th and people who apply after April 10th. If you apply before April 10th, so basically today, which is your last chance right, to apply if you want to keep all these benefits for another year. If you apply before April 10th, you basically get the maximum. And there is actually another benefit that is being removed as well. And that is the 25% extra bonus when you use points to book travel through the City Thank You portal. Um, and that is for both new card members and existing card members. It will be removed on April 10th, 2021. So you do get a whole year to wait. It's not going earlier for new card members, um, but it will be removed in a year's time, April 10th, 2021. And that's kind of sad because this was the only card that City had actually that gives a bonus through the portal and it competed with the Sapphire Reserve because the Sapphire Reserve gives a 25% bonus through Chase's portal as well. Uh, so that is going away. Now, City still has, you know, a load of transfer partners. So maybe they see transfer partners as more important and they're moving kind of in that direction. That could be the case. Um, or they perhaps think that with the new, you know, $100 hotel credit or whatever, people don't really necessarily need that extra 25% in value. People would prefer the new bonus categories, the new hotel credit to that. I mean, it's kind of a balancing act, you know, something comes, something goes, 
that's kind of the way it is. So if you want the maximum benefits out of this card, um, really today is your last chance to apply for it and have everything. You'll get the 3X on uh, groceries and restaurants coming in on August 23rd. You'll keep the 3X on other travel uh, and the 2X on entertainment all the way through until um, April 9th, 2021. Okay, it'll be eliminated on April 10th, 2021. Um, so if you want kind of a maximum, you'd have to you'd have to apply today to get the old benefits and the new ones. Um, but uh, yeah, it, you might not really think that it's a huge deal. Uh, the extra 25% doesn't go until a year's time anyway. So really it's just the uh, other travel plus entertainment, which may not really be that big a bonus category for you. Now, what do I think about these changes in general though? Well, one thing I wanna point out is, you know, they do compete with the Sapphire, uh, Sapphire Preferred and the, uh, you know, Amex uh, Gold, and to some degree with the Sapphire Reserve as well, because the Sapphire Reserve, it has that uh, travel credit, which really brings the effective annual fee down quite a lot. So in a way, they're kind of competing with that too. So now um, they've got kind of the best of both worlds. They've got the restaurants and grocery stores category that the Amex Gold has, but they've also got the travel category that Sapphire Preferred and Sapphire Reserve has, okay? So you're getting 3X on travel, like the Sapphire Reserve does, although not other travel, but the main travel, you're still getting it, okay? Airfare, trains, etc. And then you're getting 3X on groceries and, um, you know, restaurants, all right? 3X, not 4X, but many people might think, well, why have two cards? Why have the Amex Gold and the Sapphire Preferred or Sapphire Reserve for those categories? I've got all three categories on one card now, the City Premier. Uh, it's 3X, not 4X on the grocery and, uh, you know, restaurants, but Having three, you know, three categories in one card, uh, I don't have to have those extra cards. I can save on annual fees, etc. A lot of people might think of it that way, and they might go for it. So uh, I think that's actually probably quite a smart move. I think that probably was City's thought process as well. Let's combine the Amex Gold and the Chase system uh, Sapphire cards into one and see if we can compete with them that way. Kind of cunning. Uh, then with the hundred dollar uh, hotel credit, um, so probably some people will kind of forget about that and not use it. Some people also will have individual hotel cards that they're gonna to wanna to use to earn hotel points and they won't use it for that reason. Um, so it's probably a you know money maker thing for City because they know that some people won't use it. But for people who do use it, you know they're getting $100 back and it totally wipes out the $95 annual fee that this card has. Um, so that's obviously pretty awesome. And it basically turns the City Premier into kind of like a sock draw card, okay? A sock draw card is normally a hotel card that gives a free night and you can, kind of the argument is, you can just use the free night on it once a year and it outweighs the annual fee and then normally earns you maybe $100 in value on top of that. And then the rest of the year, you can just keep it in your sock drawer and not even use it. You just keep it there and you use the free night and it makes you money, okay? Offsets the annual fee. So really, if you book a $500 or more hotel stay once a year using the city premiere through thankyou.com, um, you get that annual fee paid for and then anything you'd earn on top of that with this card, like earning points or whatever, any benefits you use, um, that's actually positive value on top of that, okay? So just using the hotel credit cancels out the annual fee and you're already, you've already earned $5. So anything above that is gonna be positive value for you. So if you think of it that way, it's a cool benefit if you use it. I know some people will be like, oh man. And then that brings me kind of to my last point, opportunity cost. You know, because booking a hotel, there's you're gonna have to weigh up the opportunity cost, like how many points would I earn? Let's say you're booking Hilton, how many points would I earn on say the Hilton Surpass if you have that compared to earning points, uh, you know, earning points on this booking through thankyou.com. Uh, you'd have to kind of weigh it up and see if it's worth it. And then also with restaurants, like if you do have the Amex Gold, um, there's an opportunity cost like, okay, I'm using my city premiere to pay for things in restaurants, but actually Amex Gold is 4X, so you might as well use that. I myself, I have the Amex Gold and the Chase Sapphire Reserve, so I probably wouldn't apply for this card because um, I've already got those three bonus categories covered. Um, but for some people who want to save on annual fees, especially during this time of economic uncertainty, you might be like, well, I might as well downgrade my um, Sapphire to a Freedom and uh, you know cancel my Amex Gold and then I'll just put everything on this card and I get those bonus categories paid for. So kind of interesting idea. Um, so like we said, those are coming in, those new changes, positive changes coming in August 23rd. And then most things will be going on April 10th, 2021. Obviously though, for new card members, some of the benefits go on August 23rd, all right? So a big year for City, really switching this card around, changing it up, 
uh, I like to see these changes coming. It's always good to see changes with things. So let me know guys what you think of these changes in the comments below. As always, I will put some of my favorite travel credit cards in the link below. Um, one of them I believe is the city premiere that you guys can check out if you want to learn more about it. And as always, you know, our links, they support our show. So if you do want to support us, uh, you know, do check out our links uh, for credit cards if you are thinking of uh, researching or applying for a new credit card. As always, advertise disclosure right in the bottom of the description section of this video. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>